And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let his destiny unfold. lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so not no. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast up this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. See if he has any cold big old booty. That filthy creep. I hate him. Oh, it's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Isn't Murgo just great? We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. 
But I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces. And maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. Oi! Kids! Come here a minute! Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't... The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that... Bloke so, in the picture. we look out for those warrants. But for now, let's find some more money. It's a good day when you get strong armed by two little kids, I'll tell you. Words can tell. Worms, Monty. No words. Oh, Monty. doesn't hear. Your mother is an accursed cow. What? I didn't hear you. I said your mother is an accursed cow. You say something, Belinda. Oh, no, it was just a town crier, mother. I'm sorry, my love. You'll have to be quieter than that. Can you find a happy medium? We have to find something to eat soon. Any medium would be happy with you in it. Oh, Monty. I'd give anything to be able to speak freely with you. At normal volume. And what, my dearest darling, would you say to me? I'd tell you how I ache for you. You can bake me anything you like. No! I said ache for you. Oh, well, you can ache me anything you like, anything at all. Oh, Monty, you know just what to say to get a girl's heart racing. I only wish I could say it more loudly or that you were in closer proximity. But for now, we must torture ourselves with furtive whispers. It is torture, like having my body slowly sawn in half, the blade oh, starting at the groin and ripping its way... Maybe we can go to Bower Lake when the weather's better. There's a nice camp out there. Yeah. That's really kind of disgusting. I'm sorry, my love, but when you cast your spell over me, I lose my mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, Monty. Is that true? Yes! I have so much I want to say to you, to shout to you, sing to you. Poetry of love that makes my chest nearly burst. And none of it involves sores at all. I'm really sorry, I don't know where that came from. Oh. Belinda! Oh, Monty. I love you more than words can tell. Worms, Monty? No words. Oh, Monty. <sighs> you should whisper so Mother doesn't hear. Your mother is an accursed cow. 
What? I didn't hear you. I said your mother is an accursed cow. You say something, Belinda. Oh, no. The warrants are around here somewhere. Astonish your friends and relatives with a lifelike instant image. <laughs> Pull the other one. Uh. Well, how about that? Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. Do? I used to play. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Hmm, that was somewhat lacking in... Well, it was oh, just plain nasty, I'm afraid. But I only have one sheet of mag magic paper, so it'll have to do. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> Three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. That was fun. And we've got our first Ricky, gold coin. Come on! Rick's got a dog. Come here, He's boy. I got a treat for you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm going to hit another one. Ah! Stop it! Let me alone, you nutter! Ow! Did you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head. You fall like a hero or something. Glad Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. That was a fair fight ever. I like my mummy's good boy. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. What you need is someone nice to look after you. <laughs> oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving be. Shoot the beetles. 
shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. The Nickname's behalf. Know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this kid. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it. I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow! I didn't know you were so good at fighting. And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. the bottle talking. Well then, get it back for me so I can tell it to shut up. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight even. Get my booze back from that git magpie and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar, has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let's find this magpie guy. That must be magpie. And there's the bottle. Get it, little sparrow, but don't wake him up. Ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take your booze. Ah. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. No, I'm your friend. Hey, the quadrants are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure? Or breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon! Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Hands it over! Don't, he's trying to quit. Give me the wine. No, don't. Give it to me. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. I used to be oh. an accountant. Well done. You probably saved his life. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told you before, we can't keep you. Come on, little sparrow. Oh, you poor man. Sure you don't want the bottle? Is that one of the warrants? We've got three now. 
Just two more to go. Go. Only one more warrant left to find. Keep your eyes open. Can I be I'm my mummy. That was the best fight ever. Sorry, my love. You'll have to be quieter than that. Can you find a happy medium? Oh, my little dove. Any medium would be happy with you in it. Oh, Monty. one there. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. Stop right there, you little brats. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. A gold's a gold, I guess. Where do you if think you want the money going? right now, you could give him the warrants. Have you found them? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, Here's your gold piece. And what, my dearest darling, would you say to me? Shh! I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off! Before I call the guards, you animal! Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words Knock on the door and let's see you answer. It. What do you want? 
Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. That must be Belinda. Oh, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I guess some people's wishes do come true. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come Belinda, on, let's go buy the music now, box. Get you back do, in the house. Don't give Belinda's mum the letter. I can't wait to see what I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. What? Oh, Monty, I love you. No, you don't. He's poor. Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. What? No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence. Um, my little dove. Hello, children. Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Very wise little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. To settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little sparrow. Wake up! It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. 
We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh... <laughs> Well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories?
Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. Zag will pay for taking our people. He walked down a corridor until he came to three wooden doors. The man turns into a Balverine. The Balverine is You need to change tailors. What are you up to? He wants to be thunder. You've got rhythm. Oh, good. Maybe Does anyone see even my wonderful dimensional rainbows? It looks rather like a crayon. <laughs> Love it. There's something a bit strange Great. about that yeah. half-built tower Great. in the distance, Christmas don't you think? Peanut. Augments for everyone. None of us are safe with the great the they don't care they sell for Now come with me. Open the gate. Good luck. Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the Chamber of Fate. When you come out again, 
you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further.
Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill.
Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. Your blood is awakening. Yeah! You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill and will. In Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. The stronger your physique, the more damage you will cause. Brutal styles un- Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It is only the beginning. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back. Well done. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the colors gate. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Make your way to Bowerstone. I will meet you there. Dextra Styles unlock spell.
Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry like, you can always take care of thag yourself. So, the road to Bowerstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Look out! It's an ambush! of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. Mate, don't even think about it. letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. 
Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me and I'll make it worth your while. Thank you so much! I can't believe you did that! We're free! Free to wander the paths and byways of the land. No master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before is like... I like... What's the word I want, Reg? I don't know. And it's Regina. Right, I'm going now. Uh, thanks again! Ah, uh, yes, thanks. You just turned down hard cash. They will never forget your kindness. You're a nutter, you know that, a nutter. That Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. Apparently, someone killed off that bandit leader, so it's safe now. I'd like to shake the hand of the bloke who did it. The hero of Bower Lake. I'm a bard, see. And that's the song I'm working on. It's, well, it's my first one. I'm just starting out. Listen to this. A hero went to Bower Lake and gave the thug a belly ache. <laughs> that's all I've got so far, but maybe if I walk round Bowerstone with you, I'll get some inspiration. Bower Bridge. Nice and uh, bridgey, don't you think? <laughs> There's usually a few stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. The hero stood proudly on the bridge they called Bower, where a whiff of wet rat rose up rather sour. <laughs> I'm going for a bit of an epic feel on that one. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. 
but you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. You know how to use a hammer. Sale now on. Prices slashed on selected items. It's shaping up nicely. stays as it is, we should be all right. Keep hitting it like that. Guns, guns, guns. A good strike. A perfect hammer blow. I will take this job. Nice Wait, bit of forging. Are a thing of the past. The modern hero uses guns. You're doing a good job. Brisk walk is just the thing to inspire one, don't you think? Now, here is a fellow with a fine set of lungs, the town crier. Doesn't just tell people when it's time to go to bed, you know. He sells titles, too. So any time you fancy a change of name, pay him a visit. Uh, let's see. The hero decided to gain a new title, one that would sound good in any recital. For this he approached the trusty town crier, but all he had left was fat ugly liar. I'm so excited. Thank you. There's a shop in town with a great sale on. Why? Ah, yes. The noble blacksmith. A friend of any good adventurer. You can buy weapons here. Finest bower stone steel. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> the hero visited the trusted blacksmith for a sword that would become pure myth. And uh, uh, the bard that was standing at the side decided to be quiet forthwith. Nice doing business with you. I have the temples of light and shadows are always at each other's throats. I'm always on the lookout for amateur traders. Did you, know? you grow up in Bower Lake? There's no place more bustling with life than Bowerstone. About time someone stood up to sag. <laughs> the cow and corset. <laughs> they sell this thing called alcohol, apparently. Apparently, never tried it myself. <laughs> you can usually get a job here too. If adventuring is anything like barding, you'll need one. Let's see. The hero went to the cow and corset, um, where a rhyme doesn't fit unless you force it. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Augments. I've no idea what they are, but they sell them here. And here, 
is the town square, the very heart of Bowerstone. This is where I ply my humble trade. Cozy, isn't it? Now, let me think. The hero arrived at the town square, home of a minstrel without compare. Well, I have been compared to the cry of wild hogs during mating season, if that counts. I have returned. Meet me by the clock tower in the main square. No better shopping in all Bowerstone. to become the first female blacksmith in Albion. Where would I go for a job like that? As luck would have it, there's a job going in this very town. And another thing. Wait, you're not my brother-in-law. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Thag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none, because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Your enthusiasm will have its uses, but mind it does not consume you. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Look. That is where Lucian is now. The Tattered Spire. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. 
That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. Well, hello again! It's you! Wow, you've changed since you were last running around this place. <laughs> but I recognise what's in those eyes. Goodness, decency, respect for the law. After you gave me those arrest warrants, I broke up Nicky the Nickname's whole crew, and Lord Lucian made me sheriff. Of course, then he disappeared. But crime is way down. An urban renewal has transformed this neighbourhood into the most desirable district in Bowerstone. Fantastic, isn't it? As a good friend of the Sheriff, you'll find the shopkeepers here will give you a discount on all goods and services. Of course, the same discount extends to that sister of yours, should she be in town. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Now, stay out of trouble, won't you? Remember, no funny business while you're in our town.
Bandits! Oh, uh, hello. Uh, that, now, uh, this isn't what it looks like. What'd you get there? Ooh, that's nice, that is. I'm sure they'd want you to have it. If you think about it, we're doing these folks a service. Wait! Bandits! Charge them with the other. Why not dispatch them from here with your crossbow? Remember... You can expand the experience on skills to improve your marksmanship. Got some fight left.
gonna retire next week <laughs> and I'm gonna go on this pension. Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. Remember your crossbow. This can be over before they know it. Another traveler! Wanna get to Oakfield? You'll have to swim, lovey! <laughs> yeah! Jump! 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 Dive! What? Sorry! You always have to be different! For once, the bandits are correct. The only way forward is down.
less of us to share the... Chicken, chicken! <laughs> My son Joey's in there! He needs help, but um, I'm a little scared to go in alone. Maybe we could go in together. Should we go in the cave? Please? Oh, it's lucky you happened by. I, I didn't dare come in by myself. You see, yeah. Well, I didn't mention this, but, uh, there might be one or two hobs in here. I'd always heard the stories, you know, that hobs carry off children and, and turn them into more hobs. But that's just stories, right? I can't imagine. Disgusting. But they couldn't be. I mean, they, they couldn't actually have been children, could they? Oh, Joey. I'm sorry. You must think I'm pathetic. Yeah. Let's keep moving. These walkways seem a little uh, rickety.
That's Joey! I can hear him! I'm coming, son! Oh, that's the way to do it! That's the bugger's up! See if you can find another way in while I try and get this door open. You should get out of there. Head for the surface, quickly.
The greater your speed, the f I'm bored. Can we go back now? No. It's our job to guard the bridge. Thank you. 
Didn't expect to see a new face today. Two new faces even. Made it through without much trouble then, did you? Well, listen, this town's a peaceful place, so stay out of trouble, or you'll have me to deal with. That said, welcome to Oakfield. are now opening! Stalls now open! Get yourself a gun today, it's the sensible thing to do! We have some new things in stock you might like.
You're paying top gold for a top quality item. I could You're not from around here, are you? Oakfield is among the lushest regions of Albion. It owes its fertility to the extraordinary golden oak, which lives for only a few decades before producing a single golden acorn. The monks of the Temple of Light replant this acorn, and as the tree is grown, so are all the lands that are around. The abbot is quite nervous about this year's ritual. See what you can find out.
How's it going, Zoss? Father, the sacred texts clearly say that only two monks may enter the cave, no one else. <clears throat> ah, hello there, my child. I wonder... Brothers, leave us. Let me take a look at you for a moment. Hmm? Hayden? Armed? Quite imposing. But I can't send just anyone in there. Hmm, no. You look imposing, all right, but I can't entrust our community's survival to a complete stranger. Perhaps if you built up a reputation, I'd be more inclined to trust you. Yes. Rookridge has been having a horrible time with bandits lately. Why don't you go to the tavern and see if you can do anything about them? That would be a good start. The blessing must go forward if you're to find the pilgrim. You must gain the abbot's favor. Perhaps you can find a way to impress him in the town. Use your map to see where quests and jobs are. Your map can give you information about regions, points of interest, and much more. I suggest you look at your quests now. something new to sing to you. I will now sing you my latest composition. Okay, dog. The bandits in Brookridge had misbehaved and forced the hero through a cave. What were you thinking? Many hobs were then defeated, so the journey to Oakfield was completed. There's something a bit strange about that. And so the hero vowed to stop the bandits' crimes and all his rot. They fought until the break of dawn, when Thag's foul head from neck was sawn. Sparrow's a bird that's not very wild. More often than not, a name for a child. But deeds performed have left us impressed. This sparrow has certainly flown from the nest. Smashing! Thank you very much. Thank you. Haven't seen you around before. You really are a source of inspiration. The temple is all a flutter with the harvest ritual. We need a new golden oak. The old one died. So, where do you keep all the gold? Can I see it? Why, thank you. Oh, well. Come on. Oh, dear, oh, dear. How could this happen? <laughs> well, wrap me in pigskin and call me a sausage. Look who it is! So you'll get rid of all the bandits in Rome. You I can count on you, old friend.
barricade off. Better tell the boss. Game! I'm gonna have a... Me? Why do you think they call me Dash? Stupid! How could I run the cards before I was out of nappies? What chance have you got? from me. There's more of us!
still there. You're wasting your time. You drowsy slug. Rookridge is mine, you hear? I'll use your blood to pay the Simon. Oh, oh, just stand there again. <laughs> he had a wife and kids, you know. This man in Albion! Chase a chain of sausages, you vicious man! Well done. Your actions continue to shape the world. I don't like this one!
Ah, the hero returns! A stupendous success! Jolly well done! Of course, turns out those deeds weren't entirely genuine, so the toll thing isn't going to work out quite as planified. Still, at least it's not me who has to rebuild the bridge now. Okay, so I might be broke, but I'll bounce back. Always do. Anyway, here's my trusty Thessaurus, as promised. You never know when you'll be caught in a lexicological quandary. Thanks to you, the way to Bowerstone is now open again. Down so much. You're almost famous enough. A few people are whispering of your deeds, but that's not quite enough. It's the trouble. With a few more deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. What can I do for you? Today. One night, Perilous had a tears. I get back now. Him for the rest of his life. Hope or at you the enjoy. At least a good few hours, anyway. He was a member of a pack of Balverines laying low on the outskirts of the city, waiting for nightfall before attacking all its innocent, soft-fleshed, honey-flavored citizens. He passed the time playing checkers with the Balverine next to him, whose name was Norman. At last. Ah, it's the young sparrow I see. Ready to take on the world, are you? in hand-to-hand -hand combat nobody can shoot a crossbow like me oh, Jack of Blaze has turned into a dragon we have to stop him I put on my cape of invisibility
<laughs> are you... are you looking at me? You... can you see me? Oh, finally. I've been wandering this place so long, so lost, so... so angry. Yes. Excellent. It won't be easy, though. You'll have to make her fall in love with you utterly and completely. Then, when she's ready to accept your proposal, when she can't imagine her life without you, give her this. I've spent a long time thinking of the exact right wording. And even longer getting it onto paper. I am incorporeal, after all. Which makes it all the more impressive that I managed to get this, too. In case you need the help. I know I did. Some of the shops are starting to run low on stock. Oh, I didn't see you there. Isn't it amazing? All these people, they look so happy, don't they? I'm sorry, don't mind me. My name's Alex. I'm... I'm sure you're a really nice person, but... I'm not really much of a talker these days. Nice pies of bloodstones find you a visitor to these parts. Play a game instead. Yeah. What is it? Tell us. Something to quench your thirst. 
really quite nice. wonderful. Good, even. Wow. Oh, you that's what nice. It takes to play the greatest game ever conceived. Ah. Yeah! Good. Maybe even great. Amazing. Great stuff. Yeah, Lovely. Great. Take your mind off terrible not world bad. events with a nice Good. game. That was quite I can enjoyable. I say I like that a lot. Do tell. Ah, now I approve of that. One, two, Yay! I can't help liking that. Look at you go! Yes! Oh, Wonderful! So good. Smashing really stuff! Like that. Good. It's true! Brilliant! Yeah, Why good. risk your That's life good. searching for treasure? Play a game instead. You ever come across a Balverine? Oh, so good! Really scary. No, nice. it's just good. so good! Yeah, Fantastic! Oh, wow! <laughs> Lovely! Great! Yippee! Come on, let's oh, see. Oh, I now. did enjoy that. Well, hey, love it. Well, love it. Look at you. Yeah. Hey. yeah. That's Great. The... Stuff. Great Not stuff. bad. Not good. Take your mind let's off see. You have to resort to. Begging. With a nice I think game. it's that bad. Mm, not bad. Oh. oh! Stalls now opening for business. Mm. Are you? Have the wits to outsmart oh, so normally good stuff. Pretty We're great. not ready yet. I heard the Abbot doesn't think you're You're experienced enough. Oh, thank you so much. Take on some juicy quests and show him he's wrong. You could try coming up with something original. There's something different you about tease. you. <laughs> like you're faster, more <laughs> agile, and just, well, better. Oh, you're such a charmer. Do that again. Games, games. Oh, nice. the kind children play. How romantic. Very good. Good. <laughs> Love Lovely! It. Love it! Good job! Oh, let's see! Oh! As they come. I'm just the luckiest woman in the world! Oh, I never thought God. I'd find happiness again! I never thought I'd deserve it! I... there's something I've never told you. I almost got married once before. He was a sweet boy, but... We were both so young, too young. I got scared and ran away the day of the wedding. I hurt him so badly, he, he took his own life. I've carried that guilt with me all these years, never dreaming I could love again, until I met you. Or Is drinkies? Why risk your life searching for treasure? Play a game instead. It's sad, really, isn't it? The way we turn to drink all the time. Something to quench your thirst? How can I help you today? This isn't a bad house at all.
over there looks like fun. Don't go hungry. That's such a Child wonderful cat. house. There's something funny in my face. It's nice to sit down as a family. If I'm going to spend money, I had a dream I was shopping last night. Hey, I've always wanted yes. to make my dreams come true. You might as well go to a Try Bowerstone Market. Are you? They've got that. A... It's not a bad house. Have a cure. Oh, looks interesting. Fancy a game of spinner lines? Great. Thanks. Thank you for your Thank you. Crip. Oh, come again. Within every lifetime, there are moments of greatness, even perfection, some solitary, but others shared. On a sunny morning, under a clear sky, the villagers crowded together to witness two people stand and declare their love for each other. Some say they were a strange couple, others that they saw a story of true love. Only time would tell. I just know we're going to be so happy together. I'm too Whoa! fast! I hear there's a sail on. You've done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard of you. Now you can go back to the abbot. Darling. Must be one. Less of us to share the spoil.
Sal, you fell in love with her, did you? The strange thing is, I'm not mad anymore. I feel at peace. I asked you to do such a terrible thing. I'm just glad you knew better. I never thought of how much she'd suffered already. Treat her well, will you? Or I'll be back to haunt you. People are being kidnapped. This one isn't too bad, is it? <laughs> Have you heard the bard? <laughs> Terrible voice. And the songs are so dull. Nothing ever happens. All right, then. Willing to risk life, limb, and more as you quest for the remnants of lost civilizations? Here is what I have on the item so far. Don't let archaeology down.
you a stranger? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Do you think I could make it to black? I never thought I'd see one of those people. Good, so boring. Haven't you found it yet? Very good. You've done a great service for anthropology and all that. There's more daring exploits in the field of retrieving ancient objects buried in the ground. That is, if you're up for it. Does nobody care about their history anymore? Hey, hey dog! Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Will you travel the world to uncover ancient mysteries? <laughs> <laughs> 